Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Majora's Mask. In our last episode, we got the Ice Arrows and the Boss Key from the Great Bay Temple. And today we're going to be taking on the boss of the temple. Okay, just made sure I got everything equipped properly. Now let's head straight down. What do we have here? Your gargantuan masked fish. Alright, I'm sure they've changed up this boss fight from the original too a little bit, so we're gonna have to figure this out. I know we gotta shoot it with arrows. trying to remember the original version. I think you had to shoot it with arrows, then put on the, the Zora mask and get in the water to fight it. Okay, so far this isn't too bad. All right, I guess that's how it does damage to us. All right, I think I can dodge that. more concerned about running out of arrows in the middle of this fight. Hopefully these pots around me contain arrows. Really hoping I don't have to jump in the water to refresh my arrows, but it looks like they're in these pots. track of him and he pops up and damages me. It's gonna end up being the first death I take in this. Alright, second phase. Okay, it seems like the platform's sinking, so we gotta get into the water to fight him now. Okay, so if we feed it a landmine, then we can get down and damage it. So just gotta wait for him to be sucking in air and then hit one of these landmines. It almost seems like they've made this boss fight a little easier from the original version. All 
All right, we did it. That's the end of the Great Bay Temple. Collect our heart container and Georg's remains. Would have been cool if these masks were, were like wearable and you could use their the boss's power. We seized Georg's remains. In doing so, we freed the innocent spirit that was imprisoned in this dark temple. Hey, listen. We want you to lend us your power. If you just leave things as they are, something terrible will happen to this world. Surely, you're the only ones who can stop it. That's what Tail was trying to tell us. Help our friend. I get it. We have to help the last one. Then promise us this. You'll cooperate with us. Now the Zora warrior's soul can finally rest in peace, but the evil that haunts this land has not completely vanished. I too must abide the laws of the ancient times and again merely watch from my deep slumber. I shall depart after enjoying Lulu's voice a bit longer. I think the gods can permit that. All right, so now that the Great Bay Temple is done, we need to restore the Great Fairy of this area. The Fairy Fountain's over there. We just gotta hook shot our way across all these islands. Excited to see what power we're going to get this time. They've been mostly giving us magic and things so far and the spin attack, but we haven't really been using that spin attack much in this game. Alright, I guess I need bombs to open this one up. Courageous young one, I'm the great fairy of courage. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall lend you my strength. Your defense has been strengthened. Enemies now do half as much damage as before. All right, we got double defense. 
Come see me whenever you're tired. All right, so now I think we got to head back to Clock Town, put our money in the bank, and reset time, because we're already on day three at this point. Took me a little while to get through Great Bay Temple and fight the boss, so I think we're going to have to start a fresh cycle at this point. Definitely saving after all of that. Alright, dawn of the first day. The quickest way to the cannon is through the east gate. Alright, I don't want to head there quite yet. There's a couple more things I want to accomplish first in today's episode. Okay, I want to make it night time. Now, if you've been enjoying this texture upgrade, you can always uh, visit Henrico Magnifico. He makes all these upgrades for the Zelda games. Check him out. You can download these texture upgrades and uh, try playing through them yourself. They're a lot of fun. Okay, here's what we're looking for. They said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Now I'm sad. I'll just think about the past to keep my mind off the bad. Ah, yes, I'll do that. Dear spectator, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and donkeys and such. Why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I stole it, the dog's mask. I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask, but I no longer need it, so I'll give it to you. We got the Bremen mask. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly. They became adults in an instant. All right, so I took money out of the bank because I want to buy a powder keg so we can open up the milk road and go to Romani Ranch. They're expensive, but we'll take one. 
50 rupees every time we want to visit Romani Ranch. Alright, off to the Milk Road. Now with our powder keg, we can blast open the rock blocking the way. There's another mask I want to collect in today's episode. Kind of setting things up to take on Iconic Canyon. here but it's night so I'm gonna find the building I need to go into and then we'll probably have to play the song of double time to make it daytime again because everything's closed here at night yeah this is the building I'm heading into so it opens at 6 a.m. so I need to fast forward time until the next morning Get our new mask ready to go. And we're at the Kuko Shack. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, I'm sure it's going to take this ranch down with it. Oh well. I might as well stay put. I can't run like I used to anyway. My only regret is I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. If only I could move like I used to back in the day, I'd march these little dudes around town until they grew big and strong. Luckily with our mask, we can do the marching for him. So we need to collect 10 of these guys. Alright, that was 10, so now they're all turning into roosters. They're all grown up now. How did you do that? Just seeing these guys with a crest and all, I don't have any regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied here. You can have this from me. Nothing fancy, but he gave us the bunny hood, which is going to let us run faster. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go back to Clock Town, save and reset time, and we'll be ready to take on Icona Canyon. All 
All right, well, I think this is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. So thanks for watching and come see what happens next in Ma more Majora's Mask. See you next time and bye for now.